And tonight, that missing inmate is now back where he started in a hospital bed. Eric Abril first went missing from his room at Roseville Sutter Medical Center early Sunday morning, and he was found wearing only his prison boxers hiding in a creek. A man found Abril splashing in the creek behind his home on Zion Court at around 1230 this afternoon. This is near Whitney Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard by Johnson Springview Park. The 35-year-old was in jail facing kidnapping and murder charges stemming from this alleged shootout with Roseville Police back in April. ABC 10's Luke Clary is live tonight back where it all started at Sutter Roseville Medical Center. So Luke, what have you learned? Yeah, Eric Abril's escape ended where it began here at Sutter Roseville. He just walked through the hospital doors when a sheriff's deputy was supposed to be keeping watch over him. He's back here tonight under the watch of six members of the SWAT team. We asked the sheriff's office how something like this could happen. Also tonight, we spoke to the man who saw him from his backyard and dialed 911. In a massive manhunt that spanned more than 30 hours and several square miles, officers received more than 60 tips on the whereabouts of escaped inmate Eric Avril. They got the last one they needed here, a creek lying just below this Rockland neighborhood. Seeing someone out over his back deck, Bill Sanchez called 911. He didn't try running. He's standing there in his underwear. Officers posting this photo moments after they captured him without a fight. If you move, we're shooting there. This flat told him, and that's when he just kept walking towards him, and then they got a cop next to him and cuffed him up. It brought an end to the frantic search for the man charged with murder, kidnapping, and a shootout with Roseville police in April. Overnight on Sunday, he was seen on neighborhood surveillance videos in just his orange jumpsuit pants after walking out the doors of Sutter Roseville, where he was guarded by a single Placer County Sheriff's deputy. He left through a door, and a deputy did give chase. Lost him, from what I understand, somewhere in the parking lot. But Sheriff Wayne Wu said sure, that deputy uh, remains on active duty. The department is investigating whether he violated policy. The sheriff said Abril's restraints failed and acknowledged his escape raises serious questions. And quite frankly, as the sheriff who's in charge of the jail and the custody of prisoners, this should have never happened. And I can guarantee you this, we'll make whatever course corrections we need to. Um, and I'll take full responsibility and we'll make sure it never happens again. At least not while I'm the sheriff, I can guarantee you that. With April back in custody now, neighbors like Bill breathing a sigh of relief. Placer County's relieved now, so it's, it's a big deal. He could have maybe hijacked the car and been down in LA by now. Nobody knew where he was. Where they were just lucky, to, lucky that they were able to get him. And feeling lucky, no one else was hurt in this brazen escape. So true. Let's go back out now live in Roseville at the hospital with our Luke Clary. Yes, and Luke, we've learned that when Abril was first taken into custody, he was classified as a two officer move, meaning that he would have had two officers with him. But then at some point that all changed, right, Luke? Yeah, the sheriff told us that at some time in the month of May, he was classified as a, a two officer move that was changed to a one officer move. Why that decision was made, what levels of approval that will require all of this under the sheriff's review, he says, to make sure that something like this never happens again. And there is no threat Chris to the public Laura. tonight, certainly because not only to police, but also because of that neighbor who was alert and then called police as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone thankful that this thing is now over.